Welcome to the course on uh, Python programming for data science. The course is according to the VTU syllabus with the subject code BDS306B. This is a comprehensive course where we'll be exploring the power of Python for data science. We will dwell into essential libraries like NumPy and Pandas. We'll try to master uh, data manipulation, analysis and visualization techniques. So the course syllabus is according to the VTO syllabus for the subject code BDS306B. BDS so the first three modules of this syllabus covers the fundamentals of Python programming, which can be found at my uh, link. This uh, link of YouTube will be uh, also shared in the description box. So in this course, we will be dwelling deeper into the module 4 and module 5. Module 4 is about where we'll study about NumPy libraries, Panda libraries, and Module 5 will study about uh, Pandas, how to read and write data, how to handle the files in Pandas, how to do data manipulation, data preparation, lot of other stuffs with respect to data. And the main, uh, the primary textbook for this course is Python Data Analytics by Fabio Nelli. This book gives a comprehensive guide to data analysis techniques using Python. Uh, where will be co it covers a lot of fundamental concepts as well as gets into the advanced applications. So let's start with data analysis. See, in this world, we are constantly seeing that we are surrounded by a lot of data. Huge amount of data is being generated every day and stored. Right? Often these data is coming from various sources. It's coming from the automatic detection systems, it's coming from the sensors, it's coming from the scientific instruments, or we are producing the data every day daily, unconsciously. Every time we are making some kind of transaction online, or we're making some purchase, we are doing uh, or recording something on the various blogs, like I'm recording this video, or even when you post something on the social networks, data is being generated every day. So what is this data? It is not just information, right? Technically speaking, data is a stream of bytes. And at first glass, glance, it's difficult to understand the essence of this data when it is confined to number. So information is actually being generated everywhere. Every day we are seeing a lot of data. So data analysis becomes very important here. So the process of extracting this information from raw data is called as data analysis. So data analysis is a process of extracting information from the raw data. Now data analysis has become a real discipline leading to the development of uh, real methodologies generating the models. The model in fact is actually a translation into a mathematical form. So, right? so these are the four steps in data analysis, extracting information. So first process is uh, the data analysis involves transforming the raw data into valuable data. So that would be the first step. And the second step would be, you need to prepare the data for f generating the model, right? The data what is obt obtained will have a lot of noises, will have a lot of other random information, which is not relevant. So it's important to prepare the data to according to the requirement of the model uh, or the purpose is required. So cleaning, extracting, preparing the data is very crucial. And the third step is a model development. So data analysis n does not just involve getting the data or processing the data or extracting the data. It also involves generating the model or doing model development. In fact, model development is actually a translation of the data into a mathematical form of the system which is under study. So you can say that model development is basically a representation in a mathematical form or a logical form that is actually describing the system, right? Upon which you can make the predictions, right? So the aim of data analysis, it's not just generating the model also, but it is actually making the prediction. How good is a predictive power? Describes the data analysis. So predictive power depends not just upon the model, as well as it depends upon a choosing a very good data set. So you can see all these four steps are very important in data analysis. Now, after uh, 
the data has been extracted, the data has been prepared, you're generating the model and you're doing prediction. Side by side or parallelly, it is very important to do visualization of the data. Now visualization, if you're done at the end, it does not serve the purpose, serve the purpose right? Visualization has to be done parallelly at every stage, starting from data preparation. So during the data preparation, try to understand the data, do the analysis on the data, visualize the data in the form of charts, in, in the form of uh, uh, various more uh, figures. Try to understand the data so that you can clean and prepare your data for analysis in a better way. Again, in the next step during the exploration of the data, during the uh, extraction of information while preparing the data, visual exploration of the data is very important graphical displays are very important in order to understand the patterns in the data and to understand the relationship between the data. And even in the model generation or model development and model evaluation phase where you're doing the prediction, visualization is very important. Visualizing a model will help to improve the model performance as it will get us, uh, give us information about the accuracy of the model, about the reliability of the model, uh, and various other uh, performance metrics of your models, which we'll be doing later. And at the end of this, we have the testing and the validation phase. So during the testing, you have the first phase would be the testing where we are trying to evaluate the model performance on new and unseen data. It's very important that you use data which is not, which is not used earlier for generating the model. You have to evaluate your, the model which you have developed using the test data. The test data has to be new, it has to be unseen, unseen data. And based upon the test results, you can do the error calculations. You have to assess the model's accuracy and various other performance metrics parameters are there, which we can assess and identify which are the areas for improvement. Now that would be followed by model validation. So in the validation phase, we try to determine what is the limitation of our model and what is the suitability of the model for the specific task. And finally, we need to compare our model to existing solutions, comparing the developed model now to already existing models for efficiency. Now coming to the last stage, so once you have done the testing and validation is done. The final step in data analysis is the deployment, where it involves implementing the model now on the actual real-time scenario. And we have to make decisions. We have to make predictions again. And you should be able to manage the risk. All right? So that this would be the last stage of data analysis. Now the next question is, what are the skill, sets, a skill set a data analyst should have? So as we have seen here, data analysis is basically a discipline for analysis, analysis of the data on several fields of applications, right? So the first skill set that we need in a data analysis is multi it has to be multidisciplinary, right? So you need to, because the major problem in data analysis is it's it requires interdisciplinary team of experts, members who are able to contribute the best possible way in the respective field of competence. So the analyst should be able to learn, he should be adaptable, he should have the skill set to learn various disciplines and uh, try to be adaptable to the uh, new environments. And the second skill set is problem solving. Right? So the analyst must be able to identify the problems. He must be able to find or research what is the problem in the data set. He must be able to find solution. He must be able to collaborate. Right? He must be able to find experts in that respective area and try to collaborate and try to do find out solutions to the problems in the data sets. And the third skill set is information seeking. The analyst should have the ability to find and learn new methods and new techniques. So he has to be a continuous learner. It's a very evolving field which requires ongoing education. Right? A smaller problem for a data analyst would be like he has to recognize the problems and the new area, it can be a new area, it can be a new discipline. So 
he has to study these various disciplines or maybe find out who are the knowledgeable people in this sector and try to learn and hence continuous learning is a part of the data analyst skill set so now coming to the mathematics and statistical part mathematics and statistics is actually the foundation for data analysis right as you will see throughout the course data analysis requires a lot of math which can be quite complex when you are treating the data data when you are trying to process the data so familiarity with main statistical concepts is necessary because all the methods that are applied in the analysis and interpretation are based on this math concepts or statistical concepts the data analyst should have knowledge of computer science because knowledge of computer science will help him to implement the tools for data analysis whereas knowledge of statistics and math will give him the concepts that would form the basis or foundation for data analysis and some of the most commonly used statistical techniques in data analysis which will keep coming uh, always are bayesian methods regression clustering so uh, the four important things that you have to remember is essential concepts are very important foundation is very important of math and statistics statistical methods some of the most common statistical methods the data analyst should be knowing it's very important and there are a lot of uh, python libraries that will help the analyst to implement these statistical methods in a very easy way right there are a lot of libraries which will be seeing which will simplify the application of these complex mathematical concepts can be implemented very easily using the python libraries and therefore we can say that it's a very interconnected field data analysis has a interconnection with strong interconnection with math and statistics actually it provides a foundation for data analysis so let's begin this course so that we you you can embark on your journey for data analysis we will explore the fundamental concepts of data analysis we will do a lot of hands on coding exercises and thereby will try to build a strong foundation for the future driven future data driven endeavors thank you